Hello everyone. Welcome or welcome back. Today's project is a miter sled. This miter sled was inspired by Glenn at DIY Creators. I really liked his version so I decided to make one for myself. My main goal with this project is to increase my skills in woodworking. Jigs will help me with that. I can produce more consistent results in a more timely fashion. This project is not that difficult but beginners might find it overwhelming. But it's easier than it looks. I'm excited to show this to you, so let me show you now. First step is to cut the plywood in half. Using the T-Track to measure to get center minus the thickness of the T-Track. That'll give me a ledge to put the T-Track on. Now I'm going to glue the two pieces together. It'll take plenty of clamps and uh, once I'm done with that, it'll take a while to dry. But at the end of this, uh, I'll go ahead and cut the ends off perfectly square and to length of the T-Track. Now I'm going to mark for all the holes in the T-Track. And I'm going to pre-drill each hole because I'm going into the end grain of the wood. I always like to pre-drill when I'm going into the end grain. It prevents it from chipping out or stripping out. And I also always use a screwdriver in putting the screws in by hand to prevent stripping also. Now I'm going to mark where the bolts that will hold the miter gauge to the sled. I'm going to pre-drill some holes and I'm going to use some special inserts. And you'll see that here in just a second. I really like these inserts. I've never used them before. I saw them on Glenn's sled and they look like they work great. And they do. They're actually very easy to insert and they're super strong. Once I get these inserts in, I'll go ahead and test fit it to make sure that it connects perfectly to the miter gauge. It looks like it's going to fit perfectly with no resistance. Now I did paint this off camera. I need to cut a groove in the bottom of this board to receive this piece of oak. And that will keep the alignment inside the table groove. And here I'm just trying to get an idea of how deep I want to make that cut. And I'm going to cut that groove about a half inch. Originally I was going to cut it about three eighths but I ended up cutting it about a half inch deep and that will just make it stick into the groove of the table saw about three eighths of an inch not touching the bottom of the groove so it slide well. Once it fits in the gap and it's deep enough I'll make a little tiny shim to make sure that it's tight against there the way it needs to be in the groove. I'm just making it a little bit deeper. It wasn't quite deep enough. And that would be a personal preference, how deep you wanted that wood to sit inside that groove. Sorry I did some of that kind of out of the picture there. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to drill a hole in that piece of scrap wood that I'm going to use the oak. And that's going to just hold it to the bottom of the sled temporarily while I get all the other pieces aligned. This is a piece of cherry I believe it is that I got off of a pallet. And uh, so now I'm going to use that to make the back piece that will receive the oak on the bottom. You'll see here in just a second. It's hard to explain. I'm going to drill some holes in that to receive or to bolt into the back of the miter sled. And then one screw or one hole to put a screw in to the bottom of the oak. And I'll screw and I'll glue that together as one piece. But it will be removable. 
which you're going to see here later on. I'm going to counterseek these holes slightly so that you don't have to look at the screw heads and that they'll be plenty long. I'm going to put one more insert in here and this will make it so that I can take it apart and use it in a different way and you'll see that here also. I'm trying to make this as universal as I can because I don't have a lot of room for storage of fancy jigs and things like that and that's what impressed me about this jig. It hardly takes any space in the shop. So here's how I'm going to bolt it all together. Of course I painted this off camera. I won't bore you with the spray painting. Now I'm going to attach the whole thing together as one and you'll see how it all slides together. I also made a dust shield and you'll see that here later towards the end. Um, it's one of the recommendations that Glenn made and it was a good idea and I made it off camera but you'll see it here in a little while I'll try to get a good video of both sides and the top and the back of it so you can see how it's made notice how I can move the board across the miter gauge to different locations that allow me to turn the miter gauge and make cuts in any direction that's the main flexibility with this sled that I'm trying to achieve now I needed a stop and I wanted to try and make my own and I did successfully make my own but I just didn't like the way it turned out totally but you'll see here in a minute it, it, it turned out pretty good but it just would have did it different if I was to do it again this is just some aluminum scrap that I had laying around you could probably use plywood a quarter inch or something to make these it's just part of the hinge and I had a piece of scrap plywood here that I'm gonna cut that's gonna use I'm gonna use for the bottom of the stop now I'm gonna pre-drill the holes and of course in the wood and I'm gonna drill some holes here in the aluminum to receive the screws of course I just broke my drill bit off. I'm going to countersink the heads of the screws in so they don't stick out. They're not sharp edges or anything that way. And it'll look nicer. Everything needs to line up perfectly so I'm going to clamp it together real good and hope that I don't break my drill bit anymore. So this is I think some birch plywood and again I'm just going to pre-drill and put all the screws in by hand so I don't have any problems with it splitting. And I'm going to take that piece of scrap uh, cherry wood that I had and I'm going to make the top bracket for this. And it's going to look like I'm making two here but that's because I really am going to make two and I just cut them all together at the same time so it wasn't necessary but I did it anyway I'm going to paint this off camera also now I'm going to bolt it all together so you can see how it all goes together all at one time How the stop ended up turning out. Now that it's fully functional, I'm gonna test it and see how the stop lock works.
thanks for staying to the end and I hope you liked this video. Here's some things that I liked about the project and things that I would do differently. While I really like the stop that I made and it turned out really good, I think next time I would make it differently. One of the things that Glenn said that he really liked about his sled was the dust protector or shield. I also made one for his recommendation and it's a great idea. I'm glad I made it. I really enjoyed painting this project. Even though the paint was just for protecting the wood from the moisture in my shop, it turned out really nice. Be sure to hit the like button if you like this video and don't forget to subscribe. There'll be a picture of me somewhere on the screen. Just click on that and that'll subscribe you to me. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you back here soon for another video.